Hey guys, we're going to talk about copying, moving, and removing files. So let's uh, let's get started here. Um, so while using Linux, you're going to want to copy, remove, and move files from one location to another. Copying maybe backup things. Um, so let's start out with copy. Let me get rid of me here, and we'll get to the. Uh, ooh. Get to the terminal here. Um, so first, let's create a file. Uh, oops, let's see here. Not working. All right. So so right here, we just did it. We created the file by using touch. So create an empty file called app.conf. And we did an ls, so we're listing out the contents of this directory. A shows all the dot files, L gives the long listing. And then we're grepping for the word or the string app. So we see app.conf. So that's what it is what it is created. We can cat it. It's gonna be empty. So cat empties out the, the file into your uh, into your terminal there. Um, so let's make a copy of it. So we're going to do cp app.conf. So app.conf.back. So now let's use the up arrow key. We see there's two files now app.conf and app.conf.back. They're identical files. They're both empty. Um, but you can see that they're uh, they're both there and, it, and that's a copy of the first one. Um, so let's see. Now as long as you have permissions you can copy it anywhere. So let's copy it app.conf to slash temp. We'll end that with a slash and it'll go into the temp directory. Let's look. Temp. Let's grep for search for the string app. So now you see in the temp directory, there's also a file called app.conf. So now we've copied it into there. Um, let's say you have a directory in your home directory. So cd enter puts you right in your home directory. Uh, let's make directory comp backups. All right. So if we do ls minus l grab comp, we're going to see the comp backups right here. That's what we just created. So we can copy. Or let's first look. In the my conf back or my conf files directory, there's one dot conf and two dot conf. So two configuration files in there. So it's copy minus a, which is stands for archive. So it, it does recursive and and a bunch of things. My conf files star to conf backups. Boop. So we see uh, now we'll do ls minus L and conf backups. So now you can see we made backups of one dot one dot conf and two dot conf. Right in there. <coughs> um, so copy is pretty easy. You're just copying the file from here to there. Um, move, on the other hand, which is MV, um, is something a little bit different. So you're going to move it. It's going to delete it from where it is and create it in the other spot. So let's do, um, let's see, we have, uh, let's move app.conf. Uh, first, let's do make dir new directory. So you can see it here. That's a new directory we just created. 
Let's move app.conf to new directory. So we have a slash there at the end, so you know it's going in the directory. So I just did an ls minus l. Let's do it again and see if app.conf is gone. It is. Let's go into new directory. Do ls minus l again. And you can see it moved it into there. Um, cd space dot dot puts you back up in the current in the uh, previous directory, not previous, but the directory above yours. Um, here's a hint: cd space dash puts you back in the directory where you just were. So anyway, we're going to go back up one because we don't want to be in there. Uh, now you can you can move all like a whole directory there too. So let's do ls. So here's our new oops, new directory. And you can see it's a whole directory because oh if I can highlight it right. Because it starts with a D. Let's move that new directory boop, into temp. So we'll just up arrow, so you know I'm doing the same thing. It's gone. Let's go and do temp. Yeah, it's too busy, but here it is here. So you can see we've moved that right into the temp directory. Um, now move has, has a couple different uses. Uh, let's go ahead and you do a control L to clear my screen. Uh, let's do touch app dash output dot log oops made a mistake I misspelled it so you can see I misspelled it by saying out pu dot log so let's move that let's rename it so move app output or out poo dot log to app output dot log. So up arrow a couple times. There, we just renamed it to app output lo, uh, dot log. Um, so copy, mix copy of something. And we just showed you a couple examples of that. Move moves it from one spot to another or renames the file. Um, and it does move it. It just we'll we'll just think in our head that we're renaming it, make it easier. Uh, so now we have uh, rm for remove. We have rm, and we have rm dir remove directory. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's go back cd enter. Let's uh, let's get rid of that backup file, the app comp back. So we'll do rm space app dot comp dot back. We'll up arrow back to the ls. And it's gone. Um, now let's try, let's get rid of that new directory and temp. So rm space temp new directory. Boop, what? RM can't do directories unless you add some flags to it. So, um, in order to do that, we're going to want to add some things. So, we're going to, we'll just up arrow, so we have the the, uh, the command back. Move over to the left here. So we're going to add minus R for recursive and F to force it, so it doesn't ask us if we're sure. Temp new directory, boop, and it's not there anymore. So control L to clear all this stuff off the screen. And I think I just went through all my, all my lessons I wanted to go through. Uh, so sharp, sorry for the short video. But um, 
that's about it. If you have any more questions on it, you can go to linux.org, go in the getting started section, and uh, we'll help you out there. Um, but uh, I'm just basically going through the chapters in my book. Uh, there's an ebook on Amazon I wrote. Uh, if you look in the description, there's a link to that as well. So check that out. Uh, it's only $2.99, so it's not, not too expensive. Um, but anyway, any questions, put them in the, uh, in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Or go ahead and post on Linux.org, and I'll see you there. Uh, you can reach out to me, Rob, at Linux.org, or just go on Linux.org and look for me. My name's Rob. See you next time. Thanks for watching.